Are you getting the dreaded B200 error on your Canon inject printer? Before you rush out to buy a new print head or a new printer, try these quick things first. Hi, this is David of Tech for Baba, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Our Canon MX922 printer has been getting a good workout since we've all been working and studying from home. Unfortunately, it started getting B200 errors a few months ago. Since printers are quite expensive these days, in today's video, I'll share a few things I tried to bring our printer back to life. Canon's B200 error code means there is something wrong with the printhead. The printer cannot do anything when there is a B200 error, not even the self-cleaning cycles. Turning the printer on and off or unplugging and plugging the power cord back in do not clear this B200 error code. First thing I tried was to remove all the ink cartridges and install new ones. That didn't help. Then I tried a hack to clear the error code so I can get the printer to run cleaning cycles. First, you turn the printer off, open the document cover, and the ink cover as you were to change the ink cartridges. Turn the printer power back on. It'll start to make these noises as it boots up. Wait for the ink cartridge to start moving to the left. And after it goes past halfway, shut the cover before it reaches the left hand side. Leave the printer on to finish booting up and see if the error code clears. I had to try these steps a few times to get it to work. Eventually, I got the timing right and it did clear the error code. I then ran through the cleaning cycles and the printer started working again. However, the error code will come back a few days or a few weeks later. Since the B200 error code kept on coming back on my printer with this hack, I decided to try something else. I took out the printhead and cleaned it manually. The printhead can be removed without any tools. First, turn on the printer. Once it's on, open up the document cover and then the ink cover. Remove all the ink cartridges. Then press and hold the stop button. The printhead cartridge should start moving again. Keep holding the stop button until it stops. The cartridge should now stop a bit to the right, lined up exactly with the opening here. Open the bottom inner cover and push it all the way down. Pull this cartridge tray towards you or the front edge of the printer to release the printhead. Use two fingers to pinch the center tab of the printhead and pull it out. The printhead rotates downwards as it gets pulled out. Fingers can be slippery so this could get tricky. So if needed, a needle nose plier can be used to gently grab the center tab to get the printhead out. Once the printhead is out, rinse it under warm water for a few minutes to get all the inks out. This could take some time depending on how much ink is on the printhead. I also soak it in warm water for some time. For my printer, the inks just kept on coming out, so I decided to soak the printhead in rubbing alcohol to further loosen up the ink. Just be careful not to damage this green circuit board. After all the inks are out, I let it dry overnight to make sure it's completely dry. When the printhead is dry, hold the center tab with the green circuit board facing up. Gently slide the printhead back into the carriage. The printhead will rotate in the other way as it goes in. Once the printhead is seated, push the carriage tray lever back in to lock it in place. Close the bottom inner cover, put all the cartridges back, close the ink cover and that's it. My printer started working like before. I read that removing, cleaning and reseating the printhead may also clear up an incorrect printhead error, which seems to be another common problem with these Canon inkjet printers. Not sure how much longer it will last or how many times I can manually clean a printhead like this. I'm glad this worked for me so I didn't have to get a new printhead which now costs more than what I pay for the printer. The printer is still working for us after a few months. So if you are getting the B200 error on your Canon inkjet printer, give this step a try before you throw out your printer or buy a new printhead. Hope your printer can come back to life like mine. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, Please support me by hitting that like button and sharing this video with your friends. I'd love to know in the comments below if any of these methods worked on your printer, or if you found a better way to fix your printer. 
If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cherish each moment.